If you are just stopping by on my channel, please hit the subscribe button now because I have loads and loads of amazing tutorials for you guys. Welcome to the sewing of the short. This is the part two. So on my crease line, I'm just going to place down my short, my front panel on top of my pocketing. And then I'm going to sew just behind the crease line. Okay. Just behind the crease line on the short. Okay. The two inches we notched on the cutting in the cutting video so i'm just going to sew from that seven inch point don't allow it to exceed the seven inch point i'm just going to sew behind the crease line all the way down to the two inches so once i'm done sewing that down i'll cut off my excess thread and i'll open up like so and then the next thing I'm going to do is to top stitch this down on the pocketing. Starting from the 7 inch point like so. I'll sew this down all the way on the pocketing to give the pocket itself strength. So once I'm done doing this, I'm just going to sew down quarter of an inch all the way from that seven inch point. So when you are doing this, make sure that your hand is straight because whatever you do here will definitely show on the right side of the pocket. So make sure that your hand is very, very straight. So I'll open up the pocket like so and I'll match it up as you see me do. So the next thing now is to take our pieces cut out that I cut out in the previous video. You can watch my video on how to cut shorts. Okay, I'll leave that video in the description box so that you can watch the sewing video. So the next thing that I'm going to do now is to take that my pocket cover like so you can go ahead and weave but i didn't weave this so i'm just going to place it on the pocket like so and then i'll top stitch this down so i'm going to fold that edge inward like so and then i will top stitch if i weaved this ankara piece that i'm placing on the pocketing i won't need to fold down any part i'll just top stitch it down so since i didn't use any weaving machine for this i'm just going to sew down the pocket like so i will fold half of an inch inward like so and then i will top stitch this down this is to make sure that the pocket is clean on the inside as well we are all about neat finishing on this channel. So I'll top stitch this down. The essence of using this pocket cover is to make sure that your pocket is clean. Nobody will know that you didn't have enough fabric to complete your pocket. You can see how this is looking now. Nobody will see that I use the black fabric inside the pocket. 
So this is the essence of using that small fabric to cover up your pocketing. So now from the two inch point that we marked on the, from that fold, we are just going to replace back the two inches like so. You can see what I'm doing. Replace back your two inches that you notched. If you notch two and a half, you know that you'll be replacing two and a half. But we use two inches for this, so I'm just replacing back the two inches. So now I'm top stitching my pocketing to my short to the waistline. Once I'm done doing that, I'm going to top stitch that seven inch point as well. So now I will open up the shirt and then I will notch underneath the shirt. Note that it's only the pocketing that I am notching. So I'll put my hand into the pocket and then I'll bring out my pocketing like so. Now I'm going to sew down my pocketing from that half inch notch that I did there. I'm going to sew down with a curve. So once I'm done sewing this down, I'm just going to trim out the excess like so. Be careful so you don't cut your, don't cut the part you don't want to cut. So now that I'm done sewing the, tr the pocket like so, our pocket is taking shape already. I'm just going to take the pocket back into the pocket and I'll arrange it neatly like so. In order to make sure that your pocket is totally secured, you will need to top stitch the pocket down to give it more strength. So I'm just sewing down the half an inch we notched underneath the pocket as well. So our pocket is done. You can see that fixing pocket is simple. It's as simple as A, B, and C. Just take your time, watch the video again. Watch the video over and over in case you didn't get it the first time. Just take the step, each step of the way. Just take it one after the other and you will get it. So now I'm going to trim out the excess that I have on top of the pocket because that part needs to be straight. Now I've gone ahead to sew down the pocket on the two sides. So the next thing I'm going to do is to place the pocket, the front panel, right side facing each other like so. And then I'll sew down half of an inch. all the way so i like to do this twice i like to do this twice because this is a short and i don't want embarrassment you know that thread can be funny sometimes so i like to top stitch twice to give it extra hold this is optional but this is what me i like to do so i'll be doing the same thing for my back panel so now that I'm done joining the back panel, I'm going to sew down my band. I went ahead to use paper gum on my band. You can use color gum for yours, but this is what I want for mine. So I went ahead to, 
to press down half of an inch on my band. We cut out two inches band on fold. So I went ahead to, to press down half of an inch. So now that I'm sewing the band to my shirt, I'm going to open up my side, my seam, and then I will continue sewing down with half of an inch. When you are doing this, make sure that your pocket is neatly relaxed before you do this, okay? So now that I'm done sewing from the back, I'm just going to flip over to the front like so, and then I'm going to top stitch this down very close to the edge, very, very close to the edge. So take your time to do this. Don't rush because whatever you do here is going to show in the front of your shirt. So take your time and make sure you have neat, neat job, okay? So now you can see the little excess that I have. You can see it's looking clean on the inside. So now I'm just going to trim off the little excess I have by the sides of my band like so. And I'm done with my front piece. So for my back piece, I cut out two bands, okay? The band is going to have joining. Like I said, I was trying to manage my fabric. So the band for the back will have joining. So I'm just joining the band like so. This is four inches band. And when I fold, I'm going to have two inches, okay? Two inches band for the front and another two inches band for the back. So now I'm just going to merge the side, the seam the line, okay, together with my band. It has to align. So once I'm done joining like so, I'm going to pin this down. And then I will join. To cut out your band, you will need to measure the length of your of the waistline. So that's the length that you will use to cut out your band, okay? So this band is going to have an elastic inside of it. So I'm just going to continue to sew down my half of an inch all the way down to the end like so. And once I'm done, I'm going to top stitch this down in order to keep it in place. So top stitch this down very close to the edge. Like I said earlier, whatever you do at this stage will show on the right side of your fabric. So you want to make sure that your hand is straight when doing this. So don't forget to cut off your excess thread as you walk. Now I'm going to take my elastic band. I'm using one inch elastic band. Okay, so I'm just going to cut out the amount that I need for my band. So since I'm working, since I'm fixing this elastic on the back, so I'm using my pin to fix the band. So since I'm using this elastic for only the back, you can divide your waist by two. After dividing your waist by two, you can now minus four inches from your answer or five inches, depending on how stretchy your band is. So that's the amount I'm passing into the band. So before my band goes inside the, uh, inside completely, I'm just going to top stitch that down very close to the edge, okay? So once I'm done top stitching, I'll cut off the excess, and then I'll continue passing the elastic 
So once I get to the end, I will make sure that I hold that part firmly. Or you can pin down because you don't want this to escape inside. <laughs> so guys, I'm just top stitching down with quarter of an inch. So now my band is uh, secured. My elastic is secured inside my band, as you can see. So now I'm going to be joining the sides of my pants together. So before I join my pant, I'm going to be joining, sewing down my zipper. I'll just mark down 9.5 inches on my, on this right side of my band. Okay. Sorry, my zipper is going to be on the left side of my pant. You can put yours on the right side if you so desire but mine is on the left side. Okay, so from that um, 9.5 inches mark that I have there, I'm just going to sew down half of an inch all the way down to the hem. So once I'm done doing this, I'm going to I'm going to sew down the other side of my pan of my short using half of an inch. This time around I'm starting from the waistline all the way down to the hem of the short. So when doing this, make sure you, you take your pocket out of the way. You can see me shifting my pocket out of the way. You don't want to sew on your pocket, okay? So take your pocket out of the way and then you continue to sew down your half of an inch. Do this all the way down to the hem of the short. And don't forget to back stitch when you are doing this. So once I'm done with that, I'm just going to start sewing from the crotch line. Make sure that you open your seam seam allowances on both the front on both the front side and the back side. So I'm just sewing from the middle like that all the way to the end. And I'll turn to the other side and continue from the crotch. Okay, all the way down to the hem. So now that I'm done sewing the other side, I'm just going to fix my zipper now. I'll open up my zipper like so. And then I'll place the front part of my zipper teeth facing my facing the right side of my shirt. And then I'll fold the excess around the waist like so. And then I'll sew down very close to the edge. Don't forget to take your pocket out of the way. This is very, very important. So now I'm done sewing that side of my zipper. I'm going to sew this down again. I always sew my zipper twice. Always. This is very important. So I've gone ahead to sew the other side of my zipper. I'm going to top stitch it down again for extra strength, okay? In case one one of the stitches gives way, the other one will be secured. So this is the reason why I always sew down my zipper twice.
So once I'm done doing this, I'm going to fold the edge of the zipper like so, and then I'll top stitch it down on the waistline alone. Just a little top stitch. Don't need much. Top stitch the zipper down so that it will relax. So this is the essence of doing this. So now that I'm done fixing my zipper, I will check if my zipper is okay. So my zipper is okay. I'll take it to the ironing table, give it a good press, make sure I open press all my seam. Open press all your seam, open press everything. So now I'm just going to fold the hem of my trouser like so. Remember we used 2 inches for the hem. So now I'm just folding that 2 inches upward like so. And then I'm giving this a good press. After doing that, I'll open up and flip it like so. And then I'll give it a good press again. And once I'm done doing this, I'll put my hemming gum inside. And then I'll take this to the sewing machine and sew this down. Once you are done doing this, we are done with our shirt. You can see our shirt is looking clean. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you enjoyed watching my video as, as much as I enjoyed filming, please leave a thumbs up, like my video, and do send me your pictures or videos of your job to our Facebook show group at Fanny Mats Fashion Academy. If you used my method, please send me a video. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I love you guys. Bye for now. I'll leave the link in the description box on how to make this camp collar shirt. Um, video 1 is the cutting process and video 2 is the sewing of the shirt.